in a beige, beige world. Mr. Keith is on a mission to break it. One, two, three. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's perfect. So join us. Joey, we get it. You're really manly. Hey, everybody. All right. We got the Acostas today. They are pregnant. Well, Maggie's pregnant. David, her husband, is obviously had something to do with it. Hopefully. Okay. Well, I'll take that again. <laughs> All right, we've got the Acostas, David and Maggie. Maggie is pregnant. They're having their second kid. They already have a beautiful baby girl. They want help with their nursery. Anyways, I'll just show you the tape. Hi, we're the Acostas. This is Natalie, <laughs> she's three years old. And this is little Nathan. He's five months old tomorrow. This is his potential space. I'm really hoping to make it some room that I can bond with Nathan in. When I'm thinking tranquil, I'm thinking like light gray colors. I'm okay with the gray, maybe more. My favorite color is blue. So I love the Dodgers, more baseball-y and boyish. The battle of the sex is here. Help us out, we need your help. What we do that room is gonna be what that kid comes into the world at. That's like true, up it's a big, important job. We gotta make this nice for him. I'm excited. For little unborn Nathan. Breaking beige! <laughs> We're about to meet the Acosta family for the first time in their first home. Since Maggie and David can't decide on a design direction for Nathan's nursery, the room has just become a catch-all for all their, well, crap. Good thing is, the Acostas have a crib already, though it's only like halfway put together. Look at all those clothes! <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. It's in good shape. The carpet looks very clean. So we're gonna give you an awesome room, but you guys are gonna help. Ready. We'll try to go easy on you. First things first, we gotta clear <laughs> this whole clear room out. out. Oh look, there's tiny mittens in here. These have to go hey. in the room. Like light gray. You said blue. Yeah, Sometimes Mr. <laughs> Kate does what she wants. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I oh, love good. it. It's kind of a bluey yeah. green. So how come there's two different colors? I have a plan to divide this room because I feel like we need a little architectural interest in here. So I want to do a chair rail. Do you guys know what that is? Yeah. She knows. <laughs> do you want to be on my team? Yeah. You don't want to be on my team? <laughs> I'm getting David, so I got the highest. Okay, good. In many newer homes these days, you won't find vintage architectural touches like molding, which is why I want to install a chair rail on these very flat walls. My design plan with the paint is to bring in a neutral gray above the chair rail to be the backdrop for some fun wall accessories we will hang later. Then below, a rich, dark evergreen. Having a dark color low on the walls is great to camouflage little grubby baby handprints once Nathan is up and moving around the room. Natalie's got an interesting <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> circular. Hey, Natalie, I feel like you have amazing painting skills. Do you wanna go do a special project with me? Yeah, we're like BFFs already. You like that color? Mm -hmm. All right. Have you ever colored on this little sort of piece of paper before? Oh, you have? Oh, well, perfect. I picked the perfect person for the job then. This is gonna go in your new brother's room. You know you're having a brother, right? I'm not breaking any new news to you. Yeah. What's his name? Raylan. Oh, that's a cute name. Well, I think his name's gonna be Nathan. No, I like him honey bun. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> So that's mommy's arm, I'll do dad's arm right here. Ooh, oh. dad's wearing purple. How am I doing? <laughs> Good. <laughs> What's your color? Are you from Brooklyn? Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Don't mind if I do. We got creative projects. Boys versus girls. 
What? We got the dresser, you guys got the weird fluffy thing. Alright, well it's a bookshelf, so don't do a dresser. <laughs> so here's the plan. We got this pretty cool bookshelf, which we actually got at a thrift store. Oh, nice. So you can get some pretty great pieces from thrift stores. They just need a little bit of sanding and painting, and you don't have to spend a ton of money. It's always our goal to not break the bank when doing these room transformations, so we got some thrift store items to refresh and some inexpensive DIY projects to make with David and Maggie. Okay, Maggie, I know in your video you said that you wanted softness, right? Yes. See this roll of stuff? Do you have any guesses as to what we might make out of this? A pillow? Very good guess. No. Okay. <laughs> Nimbus. Um. <laughs> Let's actually set this on its side so we can get all the dust out of there. Cumulus? Mm -mm. Cloud! Oh. Okay. It's either cloud or maybe Santa's beard. <laughs> Recognize this color? The blue that's not blue. David and I are painting this thrifted bookshelf the same dark green color that's going below the chair rail. Which will allow the bookshelf to appear totally seamless within the room and not distract from the other things that we have planned. This cloud mobile I'm making with Maggie is really easy. Fluff some pieces of stuffing or batting into cloud shapes and use a piece of wire as a corkscrew to create a tab to affix a piece of fishing line. So once you have your little corkscrew with a loop, just kind of corkscrew it into the cloud. Yeah, great. Cloud. Ew, beak. It totally off. Oh, God. Get in. Get in. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. How's it going? Good. I think you have pepper in your teeth. Now you get it. No, you no, no. Can you get it? Ah! Have you ever nail gun before? Yeah. It's actually really easy to install molding that you get from the hardware store as a chair rail using a nail gun. Here? Yeah, perfect. Woo! Yeah! And if you don't have a nail gun, you can usually rent them at the hardware store. Okay, can I see it? Can I just go in here? Okay, you don't get to do all of the molding. Yes. <laughs> David, Maggie! Maggie, David! Whoa! Woo! Color. And how classy is this chair rail? Yeah, I love that. That really brings out the room. It's really a like nice it. little architectural detail. I have a feeling when we leave here, you guys are going to add chair rail to the entire house. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys have going on? Wow. Okay. Well, so this yeah. is the part where... Your baby needs a place to sleep. He can't sleep on the wall. So we're about to make this room look amazing, but you guys don't get to be involved. Yeah, we, we want you to be surprised. Go and do something fun. Not in here. Get okay. two hints. One, two, hint. Hint. Ooh, I'm really like liking this. Oh, she really likes this. I like that. I bet you they can't guess what we're going to do with them. I know you guys have had that crib for a while that you still have not put together, so why don't you guys oh, yeah. go put that crib together? I'll be right out. No. No, I'm not. I'm farther away than that. Shoot. Shoot. Aren't they um, cute? They are so cute. You're really good with Natalie. She's so scared of me, but you're really good with Oh, her. I love Natalie. Yeah, she's really cute. Actually, this whole experience it's kind of got me thinking what coming up on breaking beige remember when you were a little baby this was your crib One, two, five, six, seven. come on One, two, two, 